You want to change the whole look of your house, but not waste your time with complicated renos? Well, the lounge room we're about to tackle is just the ticket. You don't need any technical trades, just a little bit of inspiration. So we've asked Dee to come on down and help with styling and add her touch to it. Hey, Ads, how you going? Very good. You want to see the room? Let's go. You should see it. It's massive. <laughs> it's a dark dungeon. <laughs> So this is it. What wow. do you think? <laughs> well, my first impressions, it's very tired. But there's some really good points in here. We have high ceilings, high doorways, yeah. and look at that cool arch. We are going to have fun with that. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? And I'm loving the skirting, the cornices, but you can tell that this room has done a lot of heavy lifting for this family. But now the kids are grown up, it's time for the adults to take it back. This is a nice piece of furniture. Absolutely gorgeous. And the owner wants to keep this, so we've got to be careful. But it's not going back in this room, luckily, because it weighs a ton. Oh! oh. Yeah. Yeah. The good news is it's all clear back there. Oh, that's awesome. Great for the electric fireplace. Yes. Now, what's great about this, we have an arch that is going to match the archway up the back. It brings back a traditional charm into the room. Yep. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's fantastic. How lucky is it that you actually got the arch? It looks like it was made for, for this room. Perfect. Yeah. And all I need to do is literally open up this wall because it's an old fireplace. The hole's already there. That will slip in, plug it in, and away you go. I like your thinking. OK, yeah. I'm going to go build the hearth. Beautiful. <laughs> Now, I've gone with a mini marble tile. It actually comes in sheets, so it's perfect to lay down and you just follow one pattern across the floor. Now, I'm going also with a lighter grey grout. This way, the tile will be the hero piece and not the grout. really good. Ooh. Ha -ha. Look at that. An instant hole. And the tip here is when you're cutting through the plaster, you could use a recipro saw, but that's got a long blade, even a hand saw. So I've used the multi-tool. You can see the blade thickness here is about 10 mil, the same as the plaster. That way, if there is any services like this electricity behind the wall, you're not going to cut through it. Oh, that colour looks great. Gorgeous. making a difference already. Oh, doesn't it look great? Fantastic, but I tell you what, I don't know if you realise how lucky you are to have me on a roller. Oh, I'm feeling special. <laughs> oh, I hear you love to paint. Yeah, definitely don't like painting <laughs> at all. But we're getting there, we're getting through Oh, it. well, thanks for helping out. <laughs> now, I wanted to say I absolutely not only love the colour, but um, it's a matte finish, so it's great for high traffic areas like this. Yeah. And also hides imperfections in the wall if you've got any light beaming on it. Yeah, definitely. It's good that you brought the light version. <laughs> <laughs> In with these beautiful marble hearth. I'm just adding a little trim to tidy up the edges. And when you buy these plug-in fireplaces, you can even get a made to fit mantle. I was thinking about some compact wall shelving. Let's put in a bar. A refreshing beverage. Let's go. 
All right, Dee, what is the plan here? All right, Ads, I need a skinny shelf made yep. with these glass shelves. Now, I need it to be in proportion with the door and the window frames. Yep. Do you think you can come up with something? Definitely. Something that's tall and skinny. Kind of like myself, but I'm not tall. <laughs> <laughs> leave it with me. I'll leave it with yeah. you. <laughs> Tall and skinny was the brief, so I've created a little taper down the bottom of the leg, so it turns into kind of like a hairpin leg. I'm using my router with a 45 bit on it and just creating this nice little detail. I'm building the shelves to match the pre-cut glass D gave me. That way, we get a custom look without the price tag. While it's still in pieces, we'll give it a quick coat of paint. Then it's just a matter of gluing and screwing the five shelf frames together. Right, how are we going here? Very good. I noticed we've gone a different shade of green. We have, and that's because the wall is a lighter colour. So yep. this is going to complement with the darker green and the lighter green. Yeah, looks great. Now, behind our shelves, we are going to have a botanical theme. So I've pulled the colours out. We've got a theme going on. Colour pops, going to look great. It's going to look fantastic. But while you're here, do you think you can give me a hand to screw it together? I guess so. Awesome. <laughs> Brass screws. They had a nice touch with your greenery. They look good. Yeah. Gives it a bit of a luxe feel. Bling. All you gotta do is just listen up, listen up, listen up. All you gotta do is just listen up. Do you like the wallpaper? It is gorgeous. It's great, isn't it? Botanical yeah. theme. And it's good in a space like this too when you're, you know, you have small windows, bring yeah. the outside in. Yeah, works an absolute treat. And you'll notice that uh, it's only got two legs, not four. I didn't forget to put the other two on. That's so it can sit hard up against the wall like this. We don't have to worry about checking out around the skirting. But also having two legs, it just gives it that tall and skinny look that we're after. A lot like myself. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> it went to agree straight away. Yes, Adam, tall and skinny. That's what I am. Exactly you. <laughs> All right, let's get it in place. Wow, how cool is that? Oh, what a good looking bar. And nice. another little hidden trick I did. I got some strip lighting oh, and more cool. light. We just want light yeah. in this space. Heavy mirror coming through. Oh, Ads, that looks great. You can Ooh. see your reflection. Yes, it's gorgeous. <laughs> We're going to have three lined up against each other. What I love about this, it really creates depth in the room and yeah. gives the illusion of more windows in this space and bounces off light, which is perfect. Yeah, it is. And you can, it picks up that beautiful fireplace as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's great. And now for safety reasons, and because this is a high traffic space, like the bar, yeah. we have a chain behind here. I just need you to hook that on. Touch it to the wall. There we go. Lean it up like that. Finish your touches. <laughs> you stole so well. It's a rough and rugged look. <laughs> Don't forget to cry your chops. That's right. Oh, this is so great now. Open plan, TV over there, fireplace. It's great. It's fantastic. So now when I sit here, I get to enjoy the fireplace and the TV. <laughs> We've got more bits to bring in. Oh, Let's go. Yeah, keep working, apparently. <laughs> I think we finished off this room the way we intended. Definitely. It's light, it's bright, compared to that dim room that we first walked into. And the accessories, it's old meets new. Yeah, Great. It is perfect. And I'm loving what you've done with this archway, utilising it with these mirrors and this sideboard. And if you do like what you see here, I will be making it on the show in a few weeks' time. So...
I think there's one thing left to do. That's switch on the fire and have a drink. Mm, cheers to that. <laughs> Isn't it Friday night? I think Better Homes and Gardens is on.